Hi, my name is Marisa. I'm a registered dietitian, and today we're going to be talking about vending machine snacks. This is a follow-up podcast to the one I did earlier on snacks more than junk food. It may be helpful for you to review that video before proceeding with this one. Vending machine choices are usually labeled as unhealthy or fattening, but there are healthy options in a vending machine. So let's talk about some ways to make healthy vending machine snack choices when you're hungry between meals. The 500 Club. One of the easiest ways to make better snack choices is to look for the 500 Club logo. The 500 Club is a Gunderson Lutheran sponsored program to help you, the consumer, make healthier food choices. You may see healthier choices noted with the green fork symbol or by green plastic tips on the vending rings of certain products. These symbols indicate that the products are 500 Club approved, meaning they're lower in calories, total fat, and saturated fat. You may have seen or heard about the Wellness Warriors program. This program is offered through Stansfield Vending and indicates healthier vending options based on 500 Club criteria. The healthier options are also offered at a discounted price, so you, the consumer, benefit more. Look for food choices that have the green vending ring. There are also other ways to make healthy vending choices. Consider the following three methods. Number one, food groups. We can look at the food guide pyramid to figure out which group a food product fits in. There are five groups that food can be placed in. Grains, vegetables, fruit, milk, or meat and beans. The general rule of thumb is to choose one group for every one to two hours until your next meal. So, if it's two in the afternoon and you'll be eating again at five, that's three hours. You will need a snack that has two food groups. Examples of vending machine snacks could be a string cheese and a bag of pretzels, a fruit cup and a half a bag of peanuts, trail mix, or a half a sandwich. By choosing two food groups instead of one large serving of one food group, you'll be more satisfied and the energy will last longer. Number two, fiber and protein. Another way to find a snack would be to combine fiber and protein together. If you've ever eaten a handful of peanuts and still felt hungry after eating them, you've experienced a very normal feeling. This is because protein takes a while to kick in the feeling of fullness. If you eat one large portion of nuts, it's still going to take about an hour to feel the fullness. But if you combined a smaller portion of nuts with a small portion of a complex carbohydrate, like whole wheat crackers or fruit, you'll feel the fullness of the carbohydrate right away, and the protein and fat in the nuts will help carry that fullness longer. Remember the food groups? The groups that contain fiber are grains, vegetables, and fruit. The groups that contain protein are milk, and meat and beans. Combining a food from each group will ensure that you have immediate fullness and long-lasting energy. Examples could be a string cheese for protein and a half a bag of pretzels for carbohydrate, a fruit cup for the complex carbohydrate and a half a bag of peanuts for the protein, a trail mix which has both carbohydrate and protein, or a half a sandwich that has both carbohydrate and protein. Now let's talk about other vending machine choices candy bars, cookies, chips. They're made up of primarily simple sugars and fat, but they could work as a snack. The simple sugar in these foods is going to kick in right away and you'll feel some fullness. But because the fat doesn't kick in for about two hours after that, you're going to have to sit through some uncomfortable hunger before you feel full again. Now, those foods are probably not the most nutritious and they don't fit into any of the food groups, so you probably don't want to choose those snacks all the time, but it can work if you have a desire for chips or chocolate. Just keep in mind that you will probably feel hungry again after the simple sugar wears off and before the fat kicks in. Number three, calories. Finally, calories can help with making healthy vending machine choices. The general rule of thumb is 50 to 100 calories for every hour until your next meal. So, if it's 2 o'clock now, and your next meal is at 5, you have 3 hours until your next meal. You will need a snack that has at least 150 calories, up to 300 calories, to keep you satisfied until then. 
The easiest way to determine the calories would be to look at the nutrition facts label on the package. It will tell you what a serving size is, how many servings are in that package, and what the calories are per serving. If it's more than one serving per package, you'll have to multiply the calories by however many servings you eat. Keep in mind, you may not need all those calories. Eat what you need to get you to your next meal. For example, this package granola bar says serving size, one package. Calories, 240 for the whole package. This granola bar will give you approximately two to three hours of fullness because of its 240 calories. So, whichever method you choose will depend on what you have available to you. If you do not have access to nutrition information, try to use the food groups as a guide or find a snack that contains fiber and protein. If you need more information about healthy meals and snacks, visit our website at www.gundaluth.org nutrition or call us at 608-775-3447 and ask to speak with a registered dietitian.